Hey guys, it's me, Aiden, and I am wide awake for this one. I'm about to uh, review the All of Us Are Dead in full because I have just finished the uh, the first season or maybe the series. I don't know. First of all, overall, I felt like the show was it was really really good. The Koreans, like I said, have mastered the zombie genre and they managed to like like flesh out these characters, these survivors who we could root for, their bonds. Um, you know, and the filming, the pacing, everything felt okay, except for the fact that I feel that, um, the emotional, the, the emotional, like, talks and, like, moans between the right, I felt like they could have been slightly shorter. I mean, I'm all for, like, f like expressing these, uh, like, you know, emotions and, like, these, um, relationships these characters have, but I feel like they really dragged down at times. I feel like something else could have been used to fill a bit of that time that they were talking or something. So, I'm a little confused about what the ending of uh, that finale set up because, okay, so the, the, what the thing that I feel like is the focus that Namra, uh, one of the human zombie hybrid of the group, she has found like other hybrids like her and so I, that implies that maybe they can form a little like group of their own or a little community in the remains of the, in, in the, remains of the city or something. And yeah, wh one other thing that I'd like to bring up is um, I'm glad that more than two of them survived because you know how those zombie films, right? Either like none of them survive or it comes out to like one or like two, one to, like one to three people, like that tiny little, like the tiny few left. But we actually got like six survivors, you know, six survivors out of um, 13 or so. That's actually a pretty good number if I'm being honest. So I felt that uh, in the end, um, just the, there were multiple. We saw multiple survivor groups, right? The two student groups um, joined together, and then there's also the police and his, uh, his the police and his partner, the uh, the pol the politician, the leader, and her and her um, associates, as well as the first responder guy, right? So yeah, um, so the two student groups and uh, and the first responder like, came together. But I feel like after they got like that united like group right of the students, they kind of let the other storylines um fall away a bit. I mean, it did give a bit of, uh, you know, closure to to them. But I felt like they could have been explored more. You know, the the cop, the yeah, the two cops. One of them is the 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 frightened one from uh, Seoul University, and um. Yeah, I felt that I felt that more could have been done with like that storyline, you know, uh, him and uh, him, the two of them, the streamer and uh, and the little girl and the baby. You know, I felt like there could be more that could maybe could have been like uh, dived into. And uh, speaking of closures, right? There was um one story. There was a uh, one a uh, sideish storyline that um I want to like assume is uh, done with um so. At the beginning of episode 9 or 10, I think, one of the uh, last few episodes, we, we saw uh, this uh, sergeant, right? This sergeant, this police sergeant or soldier or whatever, he was going to, um, he was leaving uh, the force. But he, he volunteered for that last mission against the zombies and he was infected, right? So I guess, I, I guess it's kind of safe to assume that because of the cleanup and the time lapse, I guess they just killed him or something. But I am pretty glad that uh, Yun Yunji, I believe that was her, you know, the girl that got bullied. I'm actually pretty, I'm I'm actually kind of relieved she, like she's gone because I feel like she would would have just caused more problems, you know. At first, right? Yeah, can we just talk about uh, Yunji for a second? At first, I really you know felt for like oh no, she's like she's getting bullied, and all that stuff, and uh, you know she was about to commit suicide. I felt really bad for her at first, right? But the more her storyline went on, you know, and she turned into the super, the super zombie and had this whole revenge story arc. She has, I just realized, you know, she has a very fucked up sense of priorities. Like, it's so weird. 
And then, like, when she was, like, in front of those, bu- in front of those bullies, right? You know, like, when the teacher and all that, the teachers and, um, uh, the teachers and the parents had that meeting, and then she denied being bullied. And, you know, okay, I understand that she was scared, but, you know, that was her, that was a chance to, like, actually get help. But, you know, just like the, the scientist, the science teacher's son, you know, she didn't have that, dr- that drive, that will to fight back. And though she was about to commit suicide, but then all of a sudden, right, the zombie apocalypse starts, and she realized that a video that the B- Green Arm helped make of her was about to be uploaded on the phone because of the schedule, and she, like, literally, like, risked, like, everything to run down into the middle of the zombie apocalypse, just, and delete that just because she's worried someone will see it. Hold on, you know this whole, like, self-esteem, like, will to live thing, it's, like, kind of, like, boggling my mind when it when it comes to her it doesn't like I, I'm, I'm i still don't understand like uh, it does i'm sorry guys i'm just i'm just uh rambling over here Most of the deaths uh, on the show were tragic, were pretty tragic. Some I couldn't really care care less about, you know. But uh, most of all, for the most part, most of the deaths on the show were pretty tragic. But we also need to appreciate the fact that uh, a couple of these deaths, they they these guys went out like real bosses, man. First of all, uh, Jun Young, the the smart uh, second top student uh, character. He went out like a boss, man. When he was like taking charge of that a uh, protection circle in the in the third last episode, I think, and he got infected. He jumped down and started like pulling the zombies away from the uh, barricade so that the other students could move forward. And he kept doing it no matter how many times he was getting bitten. Right until the end, when he finally succumbed to the infection, that was amazing. It doesn't make his death any less tragic, of course, but it makes it so. You know, admirable that despite like the the virus, you know, the horror of everything that's happened to the end, even though he knew he was gonna turn, he still did everything he could to help the witch is um which is really really cool. And then of course we can't forget Chong San, you know. He was bitten by Green Arm and I feel like the infection, right? That he obviously for the for the the epic sacrifice thing he they had to, you know, prolong the infection I feel. But yeah, you know, um, he he lured all the zombies away from the group so they could escape. And then at the same time, he had a final fight with a uh, green arm right before the bomb hit and um, killed all the zombies left there, including plus him and a uh, green arm. So yeah, that's one hell of a way to go out. You know, he 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 didn't die. You know, scared or like screaming for help. He died like. He died like um, a real, a really brave guy, which is really, really cool to see. Yeah, honestly, you know, guys, I am really not sure where this is going to leave the possibility of a season two. Most of the zombies have been eradicated and the ending implies that um, Prez, um, <laughs> sorry, uh, Namra, uh, she's, uh, she went down to like fight the zombies or something, I assume. So yeah, you know, there aren't really a lot of zombies left considering they have been like, most of them have been bombed out. Mention that it's, it had spread to another town and they wanted to imp- implement, um, you know, martial law there or something. I'm sorry if I forgot this part of the series. Uh, you guys can tell me in the comments if you want. Maybe there, maybe, you know, something happens and the zombie virus continues to spread or something. If there is going to be a season 2, I have... I'm not sure if it needs a season two, to be honest, because I feel like the way most of these uh, stories have been wrapped up, I mean, it's not perfect, but it, but it's okay, you know, I felt like that that's all we really need to know, other than, um, you know, Namra's part. So yeah, um, I don't know. Do you guys think there's a possibility for season two? And if so, what do you think it, it'd be about? I guess, obviously, Given the show, it would be about zombies, right? But, you know, what specifically? But yeah, overall, I really enjoyed the show. I would give this a 8, an 8 out of 10. 
Also, special shout out to uh, Desu and his singing in episode 8 because that was beautiful. That was, I think that was one of my favorite moments in the whole show where they're all around the campfire and, he's, and he uh, starts off that song. You know, I, I really enjoyed that. Also, the, um, the scene where they're all like, recording their last um, their messages, messages for like, people to find on that one camera. Yeah, you know, that, that was nice. I like the, um, the, the bonding moment, the moment where they take a moment, like, you know, forget the zombies outside and like, you know, um, handle themselves, which is nice. I, yeah, so like I said, I'll give this show an 8 or 9 out of 10. Sorry if I've been rambling, I am definitely not tired right now. Mm -hmm. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this review. I'm sorry it was so fucking rambling. So, so rambly. Is that even a word? Oh my god. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If there's anything else you want to react or review, review uh, leave it in the comment box below. I'll see you guys next time.